Hi there, I'm Jeff Richard, the creative director of Chaosium Inc. And I am Jason Dural, the line editor for RuneQuest. We're here to talk about the setting for RuneQuest, the fantasy world of Glorantha. Glorantha. Tell me about Glorantha, Jeff. Well, Glorantha is a fantasy setting where magic and mythology are paramount. It's a Bronze Age setting. And I, and I mean Bronze Age in the sense that it is very ancient world. Your characters are using weapons and armor made out of bronze. And iron is a, a, a rare metal made by the dwarves. And it's, it's a setting where mortals are close to the gods and one's allegiance is to tribe city and cult not just to abstract alignments or ideologies right and magic is everywhere in glorantha everywhere everyone knows how to use to use magic even some types of magical creature or rather animals can use magic of a various type oh yeah in, in order to exist within the setting you have to understand you 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 have some magic so every every warrior the least magically oriented of warrior knows a spell that makes their swords sharper right, uh, right. you know everyone has every character has access to some magic in glorantha and every every type of character can potentially become a very powerful wielder of magic. Right. Now, when I first uh, started playing games in Glorantha, I was always impressed by the fact that in most fantasy worlds, in literature, and in games, magic is sort of the other thing. It's something that is a, a perversion or an alteration of the mechanics and the rules of physics that the world operates under. But in Glorantha, magic is just a part of the way that the world works. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, it's embedded in reality. It's the core physics yes, of the yes. setting. I mean, you're actually manipulating the, the the very fundamentals of reality in the way in a very natural way, just like gravity or um, the way light flows. Which know, gets moves. us ba which gets us back to the importance of mythology yes. for Glorantha. If uh, I, I I remember one writer said that if Tolkien is a fantasy setting created by a linguist. Glorantha is a fantasy setting uh, created by a mythologist, mm. somebody who is 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 fascinated with the uh, the stories of the gods in the Iliad or in Gilgamesh and, and and so on. And in Glorantha, mythology, and through mythology, magic, is the 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 physics of the setting. It's not. Uh, we often use the word mythology to describe a story that's not really true. But in Glorantha, mythology is the truest explanation for how something is and how something works. Right. And so um, let's talk a little bit about how Glorantha is used in this new edition of RuneQuest and what that relationship is. Yeah, so the new edition of RuneQuest uh, is the first edition that really uses the runes of Glorantha, the, the magical archetypes that define the cosmos as part of the core um, uh, aspects of gameplay. And it also, uh, in the new version of RuneQuest, Rune Magic, which is the magic where your characters wield the power of the gods. The is most powerful magic. The most powerful and, and frankly, the most interesting. Yes. Is, is given um, a front and center treatment and is a lot easier for players to use, you don't have uh, what in, in some previous editions had called, been called the initiate uh, mm -hmm. trap, where your character, right, right. right in, the, your, your, in some of the previous editions, uh, using the most interesting parts of the mechanics were something that was, was really difficult to access. And we fixed that so that right. it's a lot easier for your characters to, to really dive in deep into the possibilities that Glorantha has. Right. And, well, just one defining characteristic of this new version of the game is that we're, we've advanced the overall timeline of Glorantha because, um, as Glorantha fans know, it's a setting with a, a deep history and, that is moving forward. And we're advancing to the point where now 
magic is becoming all the more important in the shape it, or shaping what is going to happen in the world. Yeah, in 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 all of the editions of RuneQuest prior to now, uh, the default setting had always been during this period called the Lunar Occupation, and um, odds are your characters were all. Uh, Characters that were reacting to um, the occupation of their homelands by a big, powerful empire. But it also meant that a tremendous number of types of characters were just simply off-limits. Because you couldn't mix the parties together. Yes. And and it also ended up with almost all of the games, or, or at least the vast majority of the games, ending up being kind of this Braveheart feel to it. Yeah, a little bit Star Wars, Rebels versus Empire, the classic good guys versus bad guys. And that's different now because, well, it, could you explain? Well, we've moved the setting forward a few years where the lunar occupation has, uh, in, in Dragon Pass, the, the main homeland, has collapsed. And as a result, uh, things aren't so black and white. Right. Uh, you have... Everybody fighting with everybody, but also everybody allying with each other against worse, uh, worse enemies. And, and so, yeah, and the looming apocalyptic battle of the hero wars is coming, and that is causing a lot of politics to become reshaped and alliances. It's becoming a bit of a free for all. Exactly, which which for us um, creates more opportunities for role playing and more opportunities to do the sort of things that you want to do in a right. game. I mean, you can still have that Star Wars Rebel versus the Empire game, but you can also have something that is uh, more Game of Thrones or where you're not even sure if there is any good guys on any side or or something that's got much more of a feel of of dealing with the the approaching Ragnarok, the, the final battle of the heroes. Right. I mean, in fact, we've sort of escalated the dramatic potential of the setting at the same time of making it a lot more nuanced. Anyways, um, really? I know that that's a woefully, uh, a woefully short description of what is Glorantha, and I'm sure we will talk back to that, but I think that's all... All the time we have in this episode. We should probably do one just about Dragon Pass. Oh, I'm sure we will.